dear friends maintenance of normal body temperature and prevention of hypothermia is one of the key components in the care of a newborn baby keeping the baby warm in the delivery room in postnatal wards special newborn care units and during transport is of utmost importance in the care of these babies the transition from the warm and protected milieu of the maternal womb to the cold environment in the delivery room is the first thermal stress a newborn baby has to face ensuring warmth and preventing heat loss at this point is critical for the baby's survival the preparedness to prevent hypothermia in the delivery room should in fact begin even before the birth of the baby please ensure the following vital steps in the delivery room preheat the delivery room area to 25 degrees to 28 degrees celsius and the baby corner to 30 degrees celsius if available put on the radiant warmer with 100% heater output and ensure that it is working properly always use a sterile pre-warmed cloth for receiving the baby once the baby is born place the baby under the radiant warmer preferably stationed inside the delivery room itself dry the baby by swipe of the head body and limbs and back this will prevent evaporative heat loss now remove the wet cloth and replace it with another pre-warmed sterile cloth so as to reduce the conductive heat losses mother is willing then place the baby on her chest and provide skin to skin care which gives conductive heat to the baby and prevents hypothermia in case mother is unable to provide skin to skin care then keep the baby under radiant warmer itself and arrange for proper clothing including cap and socks and shift the baby to the mother's side newborn babies are unable to maintain their body temperature and are prone for hypothermia because of their relatively large body surface area and lack of insulating fat the heat generation is also abnormal because of the lack of brown fat so let's now see how to keep these babies warm in the postnatal wards To keep the newborn babies warm in the postnatal wards ensure that the babies are adequately clothed often we have to use an inner layer of cotton clothes followed by an outer layer of woolen clothes always make the baby wear cap and socks finally cover the baby with a blanket In addition to proper clothing ensure breast feeds every 2 to 3 hourly provide skin to skin care especially in babies less than 2 kg change wet nappy pads as and when required this will prevent the newborns from getting cold in the wards don't place the baby away from the mother Avoid using air conditioners or fans at very high speed. Keep doors and windows closed especially in the winter. Use room heaters if required. These measures are applicable at home also. If we are able to ensure these simple measures, we would be able to avoid the newborn babies from getting cold in the hospital 
as well as at home and thereby preventing hypothermia. So let's now see how to keep these babies warm in the newborn special care units. Thermal protection of a sick newborn in the intensive care area is mainly delivered by two devices, the radiant warmer and the incubator. While receiving a baby to the special newborn care unit, make sure that the radiant warmer is switched on at least 30 minutes before the admission with 100% heater output so that the baby care area is pre-warmed. Once the baby is admitted, place the temperature probe of the radiant warmer over the abdomen. Record the temperature of the baby at admission. Now turn the warmer to the servo mode and set the desired body temperature between 36.5 degrees Celsius to 36.9 degrees Celsius. After placing the baby under radiant warmer, put on Huggies, cap and socks which will give additional thermal protection. Incubators are another important equipment used to provide thermal care for the newborn babies, especially the preterm very low birth weight neonates. Incubators in addition provide a micro environment reducing the baby's exposure to surrounding light and sound. While receiving the baby, use the air mode to provide warmth. Set the required air temperature using the thermoneutral temperature charts which depends on baby's gestation, postnatal age and birth weight. The other mode that can be used in these equipments is the skin mode where we set the required patient's skin temperature between 36.5 degrees Celsius to 36.9 degrees Celsius. Maintenance of normal body temperature is one of the key components in the safe transport of a sick newborn baby. The stable transport program envisages the maintenance of sugar, temperature, artificial breathing, blood pressure, necessary lab works and emotional support to the family before transporting the baby. Ideally, transport should be done by a specialized team using transport incubator which in addition has oxygen cylinders, transport ventilator and monitoring devices like pulse oximeter. For a sick newborn, make sure that the baby while transport has a secure intravenous line and the intravenous fluids are on flow to prevent hypoglycemia. Monitor the baby during transport and check the temperature in between. If we are able to practice these simple measures to keep babies warm, we can easily prevent hypothermia in newborn babies. Thank you.